Just like the generally accepted accounting principle in the financial accounting world, there are generally accepted accounting principles for greenhouse gas emissions. The greenhouse gas protocol is one of them and was developed as part of an initiative to internationally standardize greenhouse gas accounting. A standardized method of calculating and reporting emissions increases the reliability, accuracy, and comparability of emission profiles across companies and industries over time while simplifying and reducing the cost of emissions compilation. Explicit guidelines are provided for the initial categorization of emission types through to calculating, reporting, and setting targets. The corporate accounting and reporting standard is initially designed to assist businesses with developing an emissions inventory, yet NGOs and governments have also used this standard as its design ensures that emission calculations are relevant, accurate, consistent, transparent, and complete, providing a true and fair representation of the user's emissions, regardless of organization type. The protocol is organized to account for emissions from a bottom-up method, calculating emissions from each segment of the business individually, as opposed to just one comprehensive emission calculation for the entire company. This allows for flexibility in reporting and assessing each part of the company, since emission inventories can be separated by operation, by facility or geographic region, or aggregated up to include total emissions produced by the company. The design also allows for emissions to be comparable over time through the establishment of base year emissions and the setting of future greenhouse gas targets. The protocol requires the reporting of all six Kyoto Protocol greenhouse gases emitted for both direct and indirect company activities, not just carbon dioxide. The emissions are separated by category as either direct emissions from operations owned or controlled by the company or indirect emissions from sources owned or controlled by another company. For indirect emissions, only those from purchased electricity are required to be included, although companies are encouraged to include supply chain emissions. This provides additional business benefits such as identifying greenhouse gas hotspots and insight into the company's true emissions profile. By including supply chain emissions, the company can better identify and prepare for risk from supply chain disruptions and price volatility, such as resource scarcity, market failures, or natural disasters. Understanding the supply chain also prepares the company for any potential liabilities with respect to indirect emissions that could result in scrutiny by the public or shareholders. Conducting an emissions inventory helps companies understand their complete emissions profile. With this, they can identify reduction opportunities to increase efficiency, reduce production costs, strengthen corporate reputation, and provide a competitive edge by demonstrating environmental leadership. In addition, using this protocol to develop a credible inventory could ensure that the company's early emission reductions are recognized and taken into account in the event of future regulatory programs. Planning a reduction strategy that best fits the time frame and magnitude appropriate for your company can lead to drastic savings when compared to having to comply to a specific time frame or reduction quantity imposed by an external greenhouse gas reduction regulation. Reporting emissions in accordance with the greenhouse gas protocol is an approved and trusted method of calculating an accurate, complete, and transparent emissions inventory. Its public disclosure provides a great way to demonstrate corporate environmental leadership to investors, stakeholders, and customers. The detailed level of emissions accounting will allow corporate decision makers to evaluate the most effective greenhouse gas reduction strategies to increase the company's overall efficiency, reputation, and corporate responsibility.